Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Saturday morning for 15 more minutes. It's 11.45. I have to go to some grocery stores. Yes, it's inevitable, you know how that works. So I thought that I would get an early start, but the thing is is that I don't feel like driving around with that shit and it's not that cold out. So I got some deliveries coming today as well. We're gonna have to do that, but I brought my Sony a7R5 along with my 200 to 600 because of that big ass hawk that I saw when I was going to the library the other day with coffee and I mentioned it to her last night she goes oh yeah I think it moved in over there now because I've seen it like regularly so guess where we're going right now we're gonna go see if that hawk is like I don't know magically gonna be there for me to take a picture of it while I got my good gear just to, for shits and giggles. I mean, I got nothing to lose by taking a drive by there. I mean, it was literally on the road and then flew up into a branch right there. I didn't go to the outlet mall yesterday for Converse. I don't know that I'm going to do it today either. I just don't know if I've got it in me to go to an outlet mall that's always batshit crazy the day before Christmas Eve. But I'm just going to get out and take a little walk around. Let's go do that. Okay, no hawk. I looked everywhere. I walked back and forth. I tried to listen to see if I heard different sounds. The pretty much telltale sign was that there were a ton of little birds and crows and more importantly, squirrels. Squirrels were running and frolicking everywhere. And if there were a hawk, they would sense it and they would be letting off their little, uh, holy shit, there's a big thing here ready to eat us alarm noise. And I did not hear that. So, no hawk, figured I'd give it a whirl. So let's go do other shit. Okay, just to show you, I stopped at the other three ships just to get a shot of espresso, just to start building it up into my system. <laughs> All right, let's go do other shit. All right, so uh, I got, again, two of the three packages that I'm expecting. I got a, another one of those M20C lights from, I think it's June. And I got a gear tree, if I hadn't mentioned it before. It's, it's just basically, it, it clamps into the desk and then it has four arms with uh, the ability to put things on the end. The other thing that I got was, was my yearly, I guess, treat for myself, is that it seems I buy myself a watch every year. Now, here's the difference. Back in a former life, I used to have access to stupid, stupid expensive watches. And it was all about getting these, these crazy ass, super expensive automatic watches, you know, Panerai's, Breitling's, you know, Rolexes and all that shit. As I've gone beyond that time and the longer I'm alive, the more I realize that all that dog and pony bullshit is just dog and pony bullshit. And, and I hate to, to bring up Fight Club, but he's like, you're busting your ass, and this is a paraphrase because I don't know exactly what he says, but basically you're busting your ass working in a job that you hate to make money, to buy shit that you don't need to impress people that you don't like. <laughs> if that doesn't describe the American ideal, I don't know what does. So I have gotten to a point now where I don't buy shit to impress people. I buy shit to make my life easier. And, and you know, if I like it, I'll, I'll get it. Now with watches... You know, I was buying myself all these watches and they weren't crazy expensive because one, I don't, I, I'm not going to piss away money on that kind of stuff, you know, so instead of spending $8,000, $20,000, you know, and up on, on watches like that, uh, I'm buying watches that are like a couple hundred bucks, you know, give or take and, uh, and going from there. Now, as I've been doing that the past almost decade since I've lived here, I have found that, that my tastes have changed more and more and more. And again, it all comes down to convenience. Convenience and the ability to do what I want. So right now, I'm wearing two different devices. This is a watch. This is a fitness device. This is how I tell time. This is what tells me what damn day of the week it is and things like that and the date. So. That being said, this year I went old school to one of the very first watches I ever had. It is a watch that 
stood the test of time and I remember getting it in high school and just like, wow, this thing's amazing. And that was the original G-Shock. So I bought myself, I, I don't know, like an $80 G-Shock watch. And I couldn't be more excited. So I, I can't believe how light this thing, it's almost floating away. I bought this because of two things. One, it's solar. So I don't need to replace the battery because that's a pain in the ass. And number two, and more importantly, because it is atomic, meaning it syncs to the atomic clock. I don't have to set this freaking thing. I don't have to put it on a freaking watch winder. I don't have to set it every two weeks because it's so fast that it gains three minutes, four minutes, and I never know what the hell time it is. So here's the thing. It's already set. It's set for Saturday, 1223. It's 150 and 50 seconds. How about that? Normally I get it for my birthday, but I couldn't decide on one this year and I've been playing around with it. And the other day I started looking them up and I was just like, you know what? Instead of getting a citizen, and, and that's what this is, this is a citizen, but it's too busy. There's just too much shit on the, on the freaking face. And I can't, I was like, I just want to see what time it is. So old school, we go back to high school. My first watch that I bought myself, a Casio G-Shock. I now have a brand new Casio G-Shock. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna head to Walmart and I'm gonna see if I can't get this curtain bullshit for my TV. <laughs> How many people say that? And then I'm gonna go to Three Ships and get Bean. Hey, here's shit in your eye. And I found everything that I needed at Walmart, so we're gonna go home and put all that shit together. Okay, kids, here's what's going on. As you can see, I've got crap everywhere. There's a little curtain rod. Here's curtains. And then here is everything that's getting taken apart and put together and so on and so forth. Long story short, I just had to completely take all this shit apart and try to get it to fit on here in a way that made sense. I'm not gonna show you all this because it's incredibly frustrating and I've been very close to getting a hammer and smashing everything um, as usual. So I'm gonna do this now and get it done first before I try to hang up the curtains and all that shit. And I might not even get to the curtains tonight because it's already almost six o'clock. And I mean, I thought this was gonna take me like 20 minutes to set up. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back. All right, so this is all I've had time to do. And it took me forever just to hook up this stupid gear tree because I had to completely take it apart and put it all back together again with other parts and pieces to get it to work. But as you can see, there's the chair, background. And now when I sit down, here's what I see. I can kind of see Bond, ha ha. I set up this extra arm and I put the action camera on it right there just so maybe I can get a different angle. So you can see I have those inverted Ulanzi ball heads just so that I could get the lights to angle correctly in the right spot. And then I added this little arm here so that I could put another Ulanzi inverted ball head on there to put the cinema rig onto it. And I have it sitting so that it is literally right at the top of the tree. Huh. Now, this isn't very pretty because I don't have long enough cables to plug into the power, which is down there, but it'll do. Now, the only thing that worries me is the fact that it's, there's a lot of weight on that side. So I'm gonna have to find some way to hook up something on this side so that I can um, add weight to this side to keep it from wanting to tip that way. But for the most part, this is done. And of course, doink is hanging there. So now I have, uh, you know, two lights up there plus the one behind me. And, you know, I can, you know, film here and have, have it look mostly okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to see what it looks like when I, when I do normal filming uh, again. This isn't something that I'm always going to be doing because I'm not always going to be sitting in here filming. But when I do you know, I want it to work well and I want it to be a good setup. 
Also, I wanted my space back because over in the corner there, I had that big ass mobile stand with the lights. And like I said, I kept hitting my freaking head on the lights and I kept hitting my feet on the damn base and even took a chunk out of my heel. I have probably less than a half an hour to cut this video together before Sven Gulli starts. So I'm just gonna end it right now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be putting up the uh, curtain rod and the curtains to put over that TV so that it looks like there's a window there instead of a TV. And we'll see what that looks like, but I just don't have time tonight and I'm hot as balls. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.